I decided to join Miss Slovakia because I believe and live by my personal motto. As you grow older, you discover we have two hands, one for helping yourself and the other one for helping others. And that's how I approached my project Beauty with a Purpose. I used my title of Miss Slovakia 2017 to help those who need my help. I got actively involved in three different charities, believing I can make a difference not only during my reign as Miss Slovakia 2017, but also afterwards. All three charities are ongoing projects for me and I will continue my work in the future. Now I would like to introduce my three projects I have been working on, projects that are close to my heart. I grew up in a safe environment where I experienced love and support, but not all children have the same loving and caring parents. I wanted to help abuse children and their mothers that are in constant fear of being treated by aggressive father and husband, even fearing harm. I became an ambassador for one center for abused women and their children. They are there because they have nowhere to go. Although they are provided with basic needs like safe place to sleep and food, the center doesn't have enough resources to provide outside activities or trips that would brighten child's face and bring them more joy. After talking with the center's organizers, I suggested several such activities that I organized on my own, finding sponsors, even using my own money to help any way I could. One of the activities I organized for them was a full day trip to a bio farm. Animal touch is very important for children. It develops their mental and physical skills that are often shut down by living in an abusive environment for too long. It helps adults as well. The center has also possibility to try canis therapy that I suggested. The trip to a bio farm was one of the best things I have experienced. Seeing those children with such joy, their eyes lit suddenly, their curiosity at their peak. I myself had tears of joy after seeing that even small act of kindness has such big impact on their well-being. After years of abuse, they started to show small signs of recovery, which I hope will grow in coming months. I want to help those mothers to gain their confidence back and to gain skills that will help them to find jobs and be independent. That's why I plan to organize a course for job interview which will prepare them for outside world. I want them to be able to raise their kids in stress-free environment and to give them better and brighter future, the best future they can give them. I know it will require much more work which I have already planned for the center for near future. I also want to provide them with self-defense training so they can become more confident if an abuser dares to attack them. I am trained in Taekwondo, Korean martial art and I want to provide some basic self-defense course for them and their kids. I want to make them feel beautiful by organizing makeup class and giving them new clothes so they will feel better about themselves. I want to help them to be able to dream again and not to be afraid of the future. Future that I hope is free of abuse and free of fear. I also became an ambassador for Red Cross Slovakia. I believe it's very important for young people to be trained in providing first aid for people in need. Each year 140,000 people die because of the lack of trained people who could provide first aid on time. That's why I believe it's very important to educate and train especially young people and older children to help a society build a safe and reliable environment where we could save lives by having enough trained people to do that. The main reason of my collaboration with the Red Cross Slovakia is creating an overall first aid program for children and young people where they can learn several techniques of providing first aid. I also participate in various humanitarian events which are organized by Red Cross Slovakia, for example warm meal services, a donation of food for homeless and people who lost their jobs or do not have enough resources to buy food. Additionally, I help to organize blood donations for the emergency units and hospitals. 
All my work with Red Cross Slovakia is on an ongoing basis. My other charity that is very close to my heart is a project called The Days of Elegance and Beauty for Children from Foster Homes. I have the honor to be an ambassador of this project. It brings me extra joy to be a part of this project because I believe I can help girls that have more challenging life than their peers. I am convinced that we, as a society, have an obligation to help and create positive environment and conditions that will encourage and help unfortunate children to fully integrate into society. Being main part of this project is one step closer for these children to feel included into a society that sometimes seems to ignore them. Through this project they became aware of the fact that they can dare to dream big, they can reach higher and become whoever they want to be. They even can become designers or businesswomen in a field of fashion. They can be anybody they want to be if they work hard and don't lose sight of their dream. Within this project, there are various interactive workshops covering different topics such as how to dress properly for different occasions, how to put together stylish affordable wardrobe and how to tailor or fix their own clothes. Girls are able to learn basic sewing, creating different patterns and many more useful things in this field. They learned how to start a business, not only in the field of fashion, but in general. One activity we did together was making flower arrangements with one successful florist that volunteered her time. Together, we created creative, youthful fashion collection of custom-made clothes from recycled material, from clothes that were chosen from various second-hand stores and thrift stores by myself and a fashion stylist. This project gave these young girls a set of useful skills and feeling of self-confidence that can grow and be a useful tool in their future. It encouraged their imagination not only in fashion and design fields, but mostly to imagine and dream big and to try to reach those dreams.